I'm asking you today, take mm. this opportunity yes. for that $52 seed or for that $300 seed of Gideon. Take charge of your life. Take this opportunity of miracles. Take this opportunity for breakthrough in your life. Take what you need to get what you want. Some of you that are here tonight, take that opportunity and let a relief of release constantly flow your way. You are not without, you're just beginning to have. You're not going under, you're just starting to float back to the top. You're not being stopped, you're being pushed and restart it. This is your opportunity for God to do what he wants for you, in you. Somebody shout yes. Bishop? Yes. I want just a couple to come. Mm -hmm. They're going to do... Dollars. See, the prophet's gonna come with the sugar. Oh. Is Father Barry in here? You need to sign him up. Take their name. They're gonna become one of the um, prophetic partners. In Jesus' name. When I um, look at your name, God is speaking to me new business ideas, entrepreneurship. Are y'all visiting something right now around a business opportunity or something y'all are trying to work on? Not really at the moment. We are working for different companies in New York. You're working for different companies in New York? Yeah, we live in New Jersey. Um, the reason I ask that because I'm feeling as though there's going to be some things that y'all are going to do and it's um, around some import and export but I'm not looking at so much materials as much as it is ideas. It's almost like um, something in technology is yeah. going to emerge. Yeah. Both of us are technology consultants. Okay. Because um, the Lord says that y'all are going to be doing businesses in other countries and from other countries. And um, right now both of you are in, evidently working in a regular comp company or corporation. Yes. But y'all are going to do something in your own business that y'all are going to get started. And... Um, Okay, um, you have any connections at all around South America? No. Nothing around South America right now. Um, don't be surprised at the doors that are going to yet open for y'all. There's going to be things that y'all are going to do in and out of India. But it's also going to extend far into um, South America. There's going to be um, some bases y'all are going to set up in the whole area of technology generating. Um, I want to say the word programming. Yeah. Both of us are c computer consultants. We do a lot of programming. Yeah. Um, the Lord says... There's a program that y'all are going to create um, that's going to make millions upon millions of dollars. There's going to be an idea that y'all are going to capture. And whatever this software is, okay, I'm calling it software now, y'all are going to take it and um, 
y'all gonna get almost some people in, um, oh God, I don't know why you do this to me. Mm -hmm. I'm, in, I'm in the southern part of India. That's where I'm at right now. Y'all gonna network and change people's whole economic life. The Lord says that the contacts and the connection now, the Lord says that y'all are going to do some ministry to your family because all of your family has not come into the kingdom as you know as yet, and that's been a real concern. And the Lord says, oh, wait a minute. Did y'all have a challenge having a son or something? I'm looking at a son. Yeah. Actually, I'm 14 weeks pregnant. You're 14 weeks pregnant? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, you take this oil. Jesus. Um, thank you, Jesus. Um, Ela Boshata. Is this your first child? Yes. Actually, uh, she suffered a miscarriage about three to four months ago. Mm -hmm. So this is our second attempt. Yeah, because I felt the challenge here. But God's going to release that fear and declare that this affliction shall not rise again a second time. And so now, Father, you know the situation. And let this birth be a miraculous birth right now. In Jesus' name. Your lives are no longer going to be the same. Um, golly. I'm looking at a younger brother. He looks like he's connected on your side. I'm feeling a younger brother. I, uh, I have a sister. No, this is like a younger brother. Um, 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 God, make that clear to me. Um, this person feels like someone that you're going to help. Um, they, I feel like they're moving. Um, I don't want to say they're moving in with you, except for that they're coming to stay with you for a moment. And this is going to be like a younger. Um, this person will be like a younger brother to you, because um, it feels more like a brother, um, even though you may not have a younger brother in the natural. But there's a, a brother here that's coming. I have cousin brother, but he's older to me. Is he coming to stay with you? No, not that. Too. No, this feels like someone that you're going to help. As a matter of fact, I'm getting the age around about um, 18, 19. I don't know who that is. Um, you'll write that down. It's going to make some kind of sense. Um, I don't know why. The, for some reason, brother keeps coming to me, so. Um, somehow you're gonna be a real bridge for them. You're gonna be like a platform for them to step on, to get secured, to get shored up. Um, 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 how long have you been here in the country? It's uh, almost a year. I've been here for for 11 months, she's been here for nine months. What church were you um, with before you came here? Uh, Greflo Dollar Ministries. Um, because this younger, um, this other person is coming they're going to be a part of your life inside some kind of a way. It's a positive lift because of what you're going to lift them out of. Um, but it felt like they were coming from a far place. And um, this is going to be some kind of, um, I'm going to say maybe, a, um, I don't know if it's going to be a brother in Christ or um, a brother... I don't know, by law or something like that, but something is happening. And you're gonna be a real stepping stone for them. And it's gonna help bring some things.